throughout the galaxy a legend is told. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and descended upon the keep. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. And they have little faces. Over time, the fortress was rebuilt, and some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim their prize and make what was done undone, they must. It's never done that before. Welcome to Ender the Gungeon. So I have played this game a bit in the past. Not a bit, I've actually played it quite a, quite a lot. You go, there's four different characters you can choose from in the beginning. Oh, okay. You, you play this on the Switch, don't you? Yeah, on the Switch. The cultist over here, he doesn't really count as a character since that's for multiplayer only, and he's, he's difficult. He's, his gun is a nerf gun. Not even joking. Uh, while the pilot is powerful, his shots don't go too far, and he has almost no ammo. I also can't play him at all. The convict, similar to the pilot, has less ammo than the marine, who is this little blue man right here. Uh, I think has the same amount of ammo. Uh. They all have their own little, uh, items. The pilot here has a lockpick, which I believe lets you open certain chests on the risk of breaking your lockpick without the use of a key. Let's get into it. First, I actually have to come over here for the tutorial. Oh. Which, it's fine. I'm in the halls of knowledge. I like the little, little bullet boy in a loading screen. Wayward soul, approach me and press A to speak. For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words, and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Wait, you went. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Onward to greatness. Try flipping these tables or kicking those barrels with the A button. Flip, flip. Yeah! Get angry. There's nothing in any of those, you know. But they will stop a bullet. I don't know how. It is quite literally just a stack of books. How dare you! <laughs> That's not what he said. Proceed to your next challenge, soldier. I don't want to. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by pressing left button and a direction. Pretty sure it's actually bumper. You're invulnerable to gunfire during your first half of the dodge roll, but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires precise timing. Nah, really. When you give when you give the word, I'll open the barrier. Use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without perishing. perishing. Wait until the last second, then press left bumper to begin the roll. Are you ready to begin the test? Ready. Oh. Oh, it is it is actually left bumper. Oh, I need to change that. Perfect! Hey. Yeah, cross the line and they shut off. And he can teleport. Nice work! An impasse! Use your dodge roll to jump over that pit. All in it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the fun thing about the Marine is that he starts with an armor piece. And since he starts with an armor piece, that's his little helmet. So if you lose it, you lose the helmet. 
The door is open, but you've got one last pit to cross. Dionysus, get away from the couch. Hi, baby. You don't have to record with us. The dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying in a gunfight. Yeah. Sometimes, though, the number of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in a room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. They will also push nearby enemies away. Great if you need a second to reposition. Pick them up by walking over to them. Uh, I was trying to collect the second one. Use blanks by clicking left stick and right stick in at the same time. Why? The <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Use a blank to clear the way of bullets and then quickly make it through the gap. I need this one. That is the most inane way to use them I've ever heard of. They've all got little faces. They do. Excellent. Blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can also be found throughout the gungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. Onward! Okay, so something Sir Manuel here didn't tell us is that you can actually use blanks to open up secret doors if they appear. Though you won't be able to tell if that door is secret or if there's a hole in the wall. I didn't read the first part, I apologize. A gun befitting your stature and experience. Go on, open it. A pea shooter! Use the right stick to aim and right bumper to fire. I really need to change that to triggers. Reload with the X button. But first, you'll need something to shoot. One of the gungeon's natural inhabitants. Cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. It's a bullet! Now. Kill him. But he's just a little guy. Cold-blooded. Truly, you are ruthless. Next rooms will be real gunfights. I thought the bulletkin was the most savage and bloodthirsty. She tore apart. Aww. Oh dear. Kill all the enemies in each room and the doors will open. I'll meet you a few rooms ahead. Now go! I am. Oh yeah, you don't need to reload with X. If you just press fire again, it'll reload for you. <laughs> Alright, really quick though. Options, controls. And we're back. Shoot it! is kind of funky. A little bit. Uh, actually, one of the times me and my me and one of my friends, Monty, right? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the times we were playing this together, when I got him hooked on it, uh, we were playing co-op, and I actually, we actually got each other stuck because of how the map moves. You made it! You know how to dodge, roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This med kit, for example, it will replenish your health. Pick it by approaching it and hitting the A button. Yeah. You still have a bit of fight in you, so you might want to wait to use it. Whatever you decide to do, remember that the right trigger button uses items, not anymore. Okay, head on through. Ah, yes. You see that thing on the other side? That's a teleporter. Whenever you find one, you can always return there, as long as you aren't in combat. To use it, first open up the map by holding left trigger. Excuse me. Which isn't the button anymore. No, it's not. Then select the teleporter symbol you wish to warp to and press A to travel there. Got it? Or should I explain it again? Got it, Mr. Manual, sir. Good. Now use the teleporter to cross the gap. I used my blank. Oh no. Nope, that drops the item. I got it. Press it. It's right. I just made that the thing. 
Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just the ones in the same room, but they won't work if you are in combat. If you press A while standing on that portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore. Try to find a better gun before you challenge the boss. This really reminds me of Dead Cells, and you should really play this on there. Whee! Oh, Grenade Boy, he's dead. I like the sound that the pea shooter makes whenever you reload. It's just popping, popping bees. And they're all dead! What's a little bar? What little bar? A little bar that keeps going across your screen. Like above it. You mean my reload? Oh, okay. Hopefully I can find a blank because... Right, a in the wall. Yes. That is technically, I believe, the only wall in the game that actually tells you that you can break it open. It gave me a blank. And this is the secret of Sir Manuel. No one was supposed to know. But I do now have a synergy. Which is awesome. Old Knight's Shield and Helm unlocked. So you only have so many bullets. Yes. The pea shooter has 1,000 total. Its clip is the uh, green bubbles down in the bottom right. Ooh. Ooh, the AK-47, except no substitutes. Ah, I should read these. Use Y to switch guns. Manny. If you have two or more guns, press Y to slow time and pick the one you want. So yeah, as you can see now, the shield is moving a bit slower, and I can select whichever one that's on the bottom to be the one that I'm holding. That's it. Throughout this game, depending on what items and uh, guns you pick up, you may find synergies between them. Like, there's another gun called the JK-47 that's kind of just like a little wet limp noodle. If you have both the AK and the JK at the same time, you dual wield them. That's pretty good. Speak with me when you are ready to five to Jabba when you are ready for your final challenge. Cha 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 cha. Are you ready to put all you have learned to the test? No. Then, face me in single combat! Boss. Let's begin. And while dodge rolling may be one of the, like, integral parts of this game, don't... if... don't use it too often. Because, like... It's hard to angle yourself after after you actually complete the dodge roll, so you may end up... a little crybaby. Yes. Wait! That shield! You found my shield, which means you know my terrible secret. It's true! I never conquered the Gungeon. I'm no longer sure if this even is the Gungeon. How humiliating. It's all that bastard's fault. Whose fault? That snake Blockner. We were supposed to be partners. But shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of... chest. Is he a ghost? <laughs> I'll explain that in a second. All right. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have made it. Because if Blockner had changed the past, he would never have come to the Gungeon, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must have left. Or maybe he's stuck in the Gungeon, too. It would serve the... Are we a minute in? Yeah. It would serve that bastard right! I don't know. If you find him, tell him Manny says hi, if you know what I mean. We're 15 minutes in. You want me to kill him? <laughs> hey now! 
Nobody said anything about killing. But yes, please do. <laughs> anyway, I've nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the Gungeon and your past. This is the elevator. Oh yes, and the chest, what he was talking about before. In co-op mode, if either one of you die, player one or player two, unless you have an item that revives a character, the next chest you find will be a revive chest and you'll lose whatever item was supposed to be in it. Gotcha. And unfortunately, it's only the uh, other player who can open the chest. How dare you stop me? I have completed my tutorial. You just wanted to be a jerk. Yes. Down there is the, uh, like, a, like we just did, this is the tutorial. Got a little guy here. What? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Yeah, Let me guess. Frog. Here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. I was like you once, came to change the past, and now I have no future. <laughs> okay. Over here, once I do some special shenanigans, I'll find elevators that take me down to certain levels of the gungeon as I fix them. This music bopping. And then these two rooms, this one over here, uh, lets you buy certain items for the hegemony, if that is how you say it. No one's been able to tell me yet. Uh, the hegemony is the stuff in the top right there. And then certain NPCs you'll find trapped within the gungeon. A lot of them will show up in this little room here, three of which change how the game plays. But now we are ready to enter the gungeon. Chamber one is Keep of the Lead Lord. All of the chambers have this little area first. An old, uh, chamber one has uh, a shrine to an old gunslinger with an inscription on it saying, Kill your past. You've already damned your future. Now later on, once certain things are done, this will actually do something. But that's a secret for a later time. That's a little slime boy. These guys will split, as you saw, into, uh, into smaller versions. Now, most of them do, most enemies do deal contact damage, but these little boys, you can just roll right through. Just kind of squash them with they your body like weight. like little tomatoes. I didn't realize the face they make. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're just like, oh no! Now I don't remember if they've taken, that out of, taken it out of the game, but while you can flip tables and it will project you from projectiles, if you're on the side of it for about, I think it's like a second, you actually have a short amount of time where uh, you're immune to all damage. They're also not that smart, so like I just did, you can kind of just throw explosive barrels at them and they'll shoot them anyways because what's this new thing doing towards me? Ow! It's a book! If I let it finished, it would write letters at me. That's fair, it's a book. Now this guy is very similar to uh, the Dark Nuts from Legend of Zelda. He has his big old magic flail. There's actually two of them here. One of them is slightly different, being that he uses a sword. Down in lower levels, there will be a third and a fourth version. The third being very similar to the Flail Man, except his flail will come off of its chain. The fourth being a spectral version that just shoots a giant cannonball out of its chest hole. Grenade! And a stick of dynamite. And see, with what we're recording now, and what, obviously, you're viewing now, we may not try to do all the achievements for it, but I have a full book 
of achievements for all the games that we currently own. Yes. And or are wanting to own. And so whether or not we do the full achievements for this, we will probably be doing other playlists and doing all the achievements for those. So have fun with that. <laughs> now throughout uh, each section of the gungeon, each chamber, you will find different chests, all of which will be colored differently depending on its rarity. If you don't have any keys, you can shoot the chest to make it explode, which will sometimes give you items. Most of the time, it'll get, just give you junk. This is the master of unlocking item. Play well, get keys. Mostly meaning if I do well enough in certain rooms, I am more likely to get keys than normal. I still have a second key. So I should be able to unlock the second chest within chamber one. Oh, so this is the this is the entrance to the boss. There is still a couple more rooms left. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport here. There is normally a shop in each level, uh, but not always, especially since you can uh, anger the boss. Not the boss, not you can anger the shopkeep and he won't serve you anymore. Like, his number one rule is don't fire in his shop. I got a key. Right. So you can actually do something with this fireplace. There are water buckets, specifically two water buckets uh, sent throughout the first area of the first gungeon. Here is one of them. Do your best to not shoot it, because if you do, there's a good chance that the second one will be in the hidden room that you unlock with the, uh, with the water bucket. And that can be one of the most annoying things to deal with. I take it this is also the annoying part of it. Oh, it can be. No! <laughs> Go back. Luckily, it say, highlights what side you're actually facing. I was going to say, if it gets to the point where I have to edit this out just for you to get there, I'm going to be a little upset. But you kick it towards the water. Not You kick the water towards the fire, and... One second. There we, there go. we go. Now, somewhere around here, there's a little secret room. This wasn't here before. Now this takes two keys. Luckily I have two keys, and I don't care about the second chest. That opens up, and you could drop in it now, or you can do it after the boss. I will do it after the boss. <laughs> there shouldn't be too many rooms left. Ah, now that little face on the map on the top right, that tells you the shop keeps here. Now, the more stuff you unlock, the more stuff he'll be able to give you. Is there a... I didn't mean to fire. I'm sorry. There is no secret room in the shop. Sometimes there are. Now, throughout each uh, room of the gungeon, you will find casings. That's the money in this game. And you can normally buy these three items on the left. He'll often have things you've unlocked or things that are already unlocked, just kind of sitting around here. You can buy blanks as well as, uh, I forget what they're called, but they float around you like the shield did in the tutorial. There's also this little friend here. He's, he gives you money if you give him things. You can drop anything down there and he'll give you money for it. Oh, I'm not sure how many people are watching this. And or will be watching this. But um, if you have any game suggestions, definitely let us know. Absolutely. Because we already have a lot of games, but we never know what exactly to play. So it, it'd be nice to know what people want to see. There should be, yep, little red boy. There's also a blue shotgun boy that sometimes spawns. I didn't even realize I got a key. <gasps> little bubble boy! He shoots bubbles! He is super cute. They do eventually pop 
but they can also stop the bullets of whatever you're fighting, which is super helpful. I heard them pop. Each chamber also has a random selection of certain enemies you can fight. This is actually my favorite one. It's the Gatling Gulf. Give him a second, he'll come back. There he is. Excuse me? Yeah. What is this? I'm Wait. actually gonna use the Marine sidearm for this because I'm on the worst map I could to be fighting Gatling Gulf, even if he is my favorite. He only really has two phases. One, shoot at you. Two, use uh, fire <laughs> missiles. Now he has two ways of shooting at you. He can also just kind of throw... Uh, he can use his Gatling gun as like a mace, I suppose. Yes! It worked. I forgot what I used to... <laughs> I forgot what I set to be blanks. As you can see, I am trying to not use my dodge roll as much as possible, just because Gatling Goal can be a little difficult to manage if you're always dodge rolling everywhere. I just, I'm scared about how beefy he is. Oh, yes. He is... He is very, very large. He is a bird with nipples, actually. Yes, he is. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Ow! Darn it! I forgot that comes back. If you are able to kill a boss without taking a single hit, you'll get what's called a master round. The master round is one of the only ways to actually get a health upgrade. Speaking of health, I just noticed that they're little bullets. Yes, they are. Health. They are little bullets. I kind of love that. Also, was that his children or something? Yes, he is getting devoured as we speak. He's gone. All right then. Now this is the elevator to the second chamber. Uh, if you find health within each map, uh, you can actually save it for later, and there'll be a little gumball machine right here. Uh, that it's just like, hey, you want to fill up? Here's some stuff. But he won't give anything to you if uh, if you're already full. And it knows how much health you need, which is lucky. So now, I'm going to go ahead and drop in here. Do it! On the next episode of Venture the Gungeon.